Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Sessions and welcome to Hood River. So I'm uh, here with Coop. Hey guys. And Ty. What's up fellas? And uh, we're just here in Hood and we're gonna catch up with my friend Chris Bobrick and he's gonna show us around the Kaya Park. So uh, last November, I was actually in Brazil with Kristen and uh, we were checking out the Kite Park League and you know, it really got me thinking about my, uh, my kiteboarding and what I, where I want to go with it and what I want to do. And this last summer is pretty light and I took up cable boarding and I've been pretty much riding cable every single day. And uh, it's actually where I met up with Ty here. He's a street snowboarder who has also kind of got the cable bug. And we got talking and we kind of decided that we both want to just go for it and uh, start competing in the KPL open events and just, just trying to get into the competition in general. So that's the aim of this trip really, is just to uh, figure out how to bring our cable tricks over to the kite and hit the features and check it all out. And then as well, we're also catching up with the Liquid Force crew. And uh, you know, a huge part of what I do is gear reviews and they have the 2020 products coming out. So we're gonna do some filming with like uh, Brandon Scheid and Sensei Graves again and uh, as well as just chat with Rich Sabo and just kind of get a feel for what's to come for the uh, the vision of Liquid Force moving forward. We're just stoked to be here, you know, Hood River is just, just an awesome place to be, regardless if you have wind or not. There's always something to do outdoors, but uh, this should be a fun episode, so let's get to it. What up, guys? So I'm literally the only one on the water right now on a uh, 14 meter. I got the park to myself. One other person's coming out right now. It's pretty up and down, typical Hood River. Uh, either way, I'm gonna get a little session in here with my uh, 23 inch bar. And uh, just trying to put some work in on the rail. This is totally new to me. This is super fun. It's pretty similar to cable actually. A uh, little, little different for sure with the approach, but um, I'm gonna get up with here and we're gonna get a little uh, solo session here in the sunset. I'm not gonna lie, hitting features of the kite is way more fun than wakeboarding. It's more difficult, but it brings a whole new element to the sport. As I was riding, Chris showed up. Years ago, he was an instructor for Matt Kite, and he actually taught me how to kite. For the last few years, I've been super lucky to have a core group of friends like Chris Bobrick and Blake Olson to kite with. I spend a lot of time behind the camera with these guys. Recently, I'm really enjoying progressing and spending more time in front of the camera. That evening, Ty set up with a GoPro and filmed their session. I spend a lot of time traveling the lagoons chasing flat water and wind, but I'll admit, Park style, while well, not the most popular thing, is by far my favorite aspect of kiteboarding now. I still love free riding and interacting with nature. Freestyle is always fun, but there is something beyond satisfying about sliding a rail. Yo, what up guys? We've been in Hood for a couple days and we're here at the Slingshot headquarters. And uh, we're just gonna catch up with Chris Bobrick. So Ty here's <laughs> picking up a new pair of boots. Dope. And uh, yeah, yeah bud. Oh. What's up, boss? Ooh, baby. Oh, okay. 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 The maximum credit. Okay. Dope. Dope. We didn't plan this one at all with the timing of the door. <laughs> Not, Not at all. What's the game plan, dude? I think we're gonna go probably do some freestyle Lyle for a quick minute. Some grabs, some passes, some swaps. A little bit of swap swap. Pete says, boy, how'd I be Pete? Sky flying. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I haven't really introduced Ty yet. Ty's a yeah. street snowboarder. He's going to cross over to Cable. I'm stoked on the kite. <laughs> He's getting stoked on the kite. Yeah, we yeah, uh, we've been chatting about it and was like, dude, you gotta you gotta check out the kite park. So we're here, we're riding the park and we're getting it done. Yeah, so I was hopping my personal uh -huh. Chris's personal truck. So you gotta just follow me. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. <laughs> Meet Chris Bobrick. Rather than ramble on, I'll just let his riding do the talking.
riders bring as much power and grit to the sport as Chris. I mean, they do call him the American Sledgehammer for a reason. We're amped for the year to come with this heavy hitter. Yo, what up guys? My buddy Chris Bobert's in town, so I think he's gonna get out and we're gonna get some footage with him. And uh, as well, Brandon Scheid, the, the park legend, he's probably gonna swing out as well. So I'm gonna try to just uh, bust out the big camera and get some quality footage and uh, have a little session with him. Born and raised in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Brandon Scheid is arguably the king of park style kiteboarding. At 35, he's still going strong, riding harder, and more technical than all the up and coming kids in the park. I had the chance to film him getting warmed up for the kite matching event last fall in Brazil. Years ago, he was one of the core American freestyle riders, and he's still leading the charge in the wake style movement today. Super inspiring to see the best of the best ride. The shoot last fall was what put park style on my radar. Kickers and rails have given me a completely new perspective to the sport. I only had an afternoon to catch Brandon on the water in the park, and admittedly, this edit doesn't even scratch the surface. Later on, I'll have to do a full segment on him. The rest of the week, I sessioned the park with Matt Kite's two newest team riders and some new friends. And admittedly, Ty and I have a lot to learn, but riding with experienced riders like Chris and Blaine Baker goes a long way in progressing. Hitting features of the kite is a lot like riding cable, but with a far less consistent pull. I'm stoked to make more content with these two and have friends like this to push each other on the water. The three of us weren't the only ones in our crew to get into the park. While she only had one solid day of wind to figure it out, Kristen got right in there with us. One of the best things about traveling is the friends you make along the way. Blaine Baker from Liquid Forest helped us out a lot our first few days in the park. Something I didn't know about Liquid is their entire staff consists of actual kiteboarders. Surprisingly, you don't see this that often in our industry. While watching him ride, I decided to pay them a visit at their headquarters to chat about the 2020 lineup. Yo, what up guys? So it's uh, our last day here in the hood and we're gonna catch up with uh, Rich and Blaine from Liquid Force and they're gonna give us a little rundown on the uh, 2020 gear. Yeah. Hey boys. What's up, right? How you doing? Yeah. We didn't no. fake this one at all. No, no, no. <laughs> that was good thing here, no, this is completely unscripted. This is how we normally hang out. Vlogs are always natural. Yep. Yeah, how's the slider project been treating you? Dude, so good, man. This, yeah. is, uh, this is the guy responsible for the slider park here. Yeah, yeah, sucker. I'm the sucker responsible. The sucker yeah, responsible yeah, yeah, yeah. for maintenance and all that. Uh -huh. The only free kite park in the U.S. That's correct. So, yep, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Come out to Hood River, ride whenever you want. We'll show you a good time if I'm around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, you want to give us the rundown? Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, man. I think that uh, the 2020 Liquid Force whole thing is just about us being a group of actual kiteboarders. You know, most brands are made up of kind of a mixture of kiteboarders and people who are good in the office, but everyone from start to finish at Liquid Force is a kiteboarder, and we all love kiteboarding. So I feel like that's kind of our whole campaign and what we do and everything we're going for for 2020 this year. Um, you know, it's called our 2020 vision. We have perfect clarity into the kiteboarding world because we are kiteboarders. And with that said, there's like kind of a smack dabbering of like our cool stuff this year. I'd say starting off on that left there, it's a dirty board that's been ridden a lot, but this is the absolute, it's the lightest twin tip that Liquid Force has ever made. Uh, it comes in at about two kilograms, which is some type of number in a non-understandable, non-metric version. Yeah, it's super light. Yeah. It's got it's, the checker pattern, so. Yeah, that tech stream. You know, Clearly not, a little carbon in here, huh? Oh yeah, that's that tech stream carbon. Good strength to weight ratio, other brands have used it. Uh, right here in this super bag, this is a brand new bag for this year. It's an awesome, cool little travel duffel with backpack straps. Oh, you got the... Oh yeah. And you can actually use it and it's durable and you can throw it and put all your clothes in there and throw it on the belt and everybody will take it. Yeah. That's actually pretty sick. That's yeah, pretty dope. I like that. I'm stoked. 
Uh, over here we got some cool new foil boards. We're getting into that foil lineup this year. A lot of us uh, have seen that the foil world has exploded and we are definitely taking a step up this year. We've got a few new board options. That's that really nice corduroy top. We love the corduroy <laughs> EVA. It's so sexy. This is our cool plank board. You can come walk the plank. It's that pocket foil board. It's got like no volume, but it's travel friendly for all those pro foilers. Uh, staying in the lineup, we got the other stuff like the Galaxy this year, which just made some cool construction improvements to. Um, yeah, you can check it out. Like the seams and everything on the side are really tight this year. We put some reinforcements in. Super nice. This is like our favorite board, I think, in the lineup. Yeah, yeah. The nice, Galaxy. Nice after effect zooming there. Uh, and then running down, we got some other cool things that looking up, just new graphic for the Echo this year. Took off the grind base, changed up the graphics, made it a little bit lighter and user friendly for everybody because a lot of people were thinking it was heavy. And then the new Radnium, 2020 Radnium, Kristoff Tac, uh, descendant pro model board for the people who want to go freaking unhook, load and pop, all those, you know, like all of them, right? Like all 10 of them who want to go really big and unhook yeah, the and 10 do blind borders in the entire yeah, yeah, yeah. world. Yeah. So we got that board for them. Uh, and then cool, you know, new bar for this year too. We got one of these, a direct drive bar. So, you know, those north click bars, the internal oh. trim mechanisms. Oh. We have our own version of it, which is this. So you just turn this knob to release the outside and inside, uh, sorry, the outside steering line so that you can get some trim, you know, adjustment on the new bar. Yeah. So you have the internal mechanism. So There's uh, something going on down here too. Oh yes, yeah, so that's just a really, really big, wide stainless steel bushing there in the middle so that you can, the bar can twist and bend or tube. You know, some people said it was stiff last year, so now we have a really bendy twisty nice. tube that you don't have to worry about any of that. And then uh, looks like we got the boom oh, here. Oh yeah, They're looking borrowing for this us. One. Yeah, we we decided to team up with our wakeboard brethren on this guy because we, uh, you know, I'm a slider project guy. We all like riding the sliders. We're like, man, we should really make a board that's good for that kind of riding, but also good for cable crossover, wakeboarding, kiteboarding, all the sports. And now we've got the brand new boom. So as you can tell, no fin holes, grind base, big size, 150. So this makes riding really easy and compensates for that big rocker line, so. It's not bad, I was I was surprised. I've never done a 150 and I actually liked it. I liked it for everything. Hey, bigger's better. That's that's the whole, <laughs> the truth. That's, that's the truth here, yeah. So stoked on this guy and the graphics awesome and we have a, a four pack of inserts in case people want to go with their narrow stance, you know? Yeah, so, man. The boom too. Well, sick. I uh, appreciate it, man. Dude, so, no problem, man. Stoked for you guys in the year to come. Fist bump? Yeah. The V-Log fist bump? Yeah. The V-Log fist bump? Yeah. Yeah, that's a wrap, guys. Uh, gonna get out of here, get out of hood, so we'll do a little montage on the plane, and we'll see you in Michigan. Phew! So flow. So flow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Barbara, uh, Barbara hit you. Just so you know. Oh, he gave me a so flow. You got a so flow. It looks so good on this yeah, board. Fabric. Oh, I didn't realize it's two kites. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. You might keep it. It's actually pretty good.